Hey guys, just a really important uh, video today to discuss a few things that have been happening and I just, I think you'll find them valuable. First of all, the content writers and the journalists and, and, and our team that sort of help us produce a lot of content, they've had a lot of experience working with SEOs in the past. And so when they ask questions back to us like, hey, would you like this article to have 3% keyword density? How many internal, uh, um, internal links should we have to other blog articles? Um, how many external links should we have to authoritative resources? Because they've been trained to produce content for SEOs in an SEO way. And that for me is what I really want to break because that is a, that, that I find so counterintuitive to really why are we producing this piece of content? We should be producing a piece of content for our clients that are going to benefit their target market producing a piece of artwork for our clients and using both an SEO mindset from the sense of what are people searching for, what are people finding valuable, what's getting shared around the internet, what's getting linked to linked to a lot in, obviously in that space. So you've got a guide and an understanding and some data to back to, to back uh, and to, um, to help you back a content uh, strat a content piece that you would like to create. Obviously, you want to have some data there. There is definitely no question about that. But we get bogged down often than not, more to do with how that actually article is is is, is um, configured and created, more to fit a math algorithm than the people that matter. And this, to me, is just just something that I believe has to end. When are you going to start? focusing on producing something that is meaningful versus producing something that is 3% keyword density. It's including the keyword in the top, the middle, and the footer. I just, I don't get it. It's 2019, and the fact that content writers are still telling us and asking us what we want, that obviously means that there is a lot of other digital companies still out there saying, this is what you should actually produce. This is what we want. So that, that to me is, is, is sort of surprising. So remember, the whole point of creating content on a blog is for the target market. That's it. Do not do not think about you know the latest algorithmic update. Do not think about oh what's Google gonna like. It's what the target market likes. Don't think about it has to be a thousand words. No, it has to be what the target market wants. And producing the best possible article, you know, may mean that you only have a thousand words. Some articles you can extrapolate and go deeper and go further. And we encourage, uh, you know, creating really in-depth content. Like I've talked about, content depth is a lot better than content width, right? You can write 3,000 words and it has no depth to it. It's just words and it's not really anything that's really helpful. How did this piece of content change someone's day? How did this piece of content, uh, you know, encourage somebody or motivate somebody or, or really inspired. I mean, this is a whole point of, and, and helping. A lot of uh, content that, that we like to create is obviously how-tos and helpful content because it's just an easy way to provide value. It's probably the easiest way to add value uh, to, to your target market, finding out just those simple things. It's a lot better doing that strategy than getting so bogged down on producing an article that the algorithms favor versus focusing entirely, entirely on what matters most to the people that are interested in what you have to say. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day.